<laughs> hey guys, this is uh, Owen and Benny. Hello. And we're back again this week. Um, this is our first week of our new sermon series called Transforming Generosity. Uh, we really believe that God desires to transform us uh, into people who are generous. And so every week for the next four weeks, we're going to be talking about a particular sort of transformation that God makes um, in our lives. And today we talked about uh, moving from duty to delight. I'm which sorry. It's really hard to say duty in the pulpit without thinking. About it's just an odd sounding word. It really duty. is. Duty. Yes. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But I didn't laugh, which is a good thing. Anyway, yeah, this I is did. beside the point. <laughs> um, so basically what we talked about today, we read from uh, Paul's letter to the second Corinthians. They're the Corinthians. It's the second letter, right? Um, so Paul's letter to the Corinthians. And basically, um, the church, when it started, it started in Jerusalem. And uh, that Jerusalem church was like an inner city church. So they were serving the poor. They were doing everything, uh, clothing the naked, visiting the people that were sick, etc., etc. And they were also sending out missionaries. And so part of Paul's responsibility was to make sure that all the other churches he was planting were supporting them. But they had sort of fallen down on the task. Yeah, and the, the, the real topic from duty to the light, it, the one thing I thought about when I was trying to figure out how we might communicate a message to you guys is that, you know, duty is something that you feel like you have to do. Like you have to get up and go to class. You have to get up and do this. And really what God wants us to, to, to lead is a life that is generous in the way that we act towards other people. And I thought about this, and I don't know if this is a good analogy or not, but sometimes I feel like I have to go to the gym. Like I've got to lose the pounds. I've got to get out there. I've got to be, you know, but at, yeah, I am putting on the weight. And the thing is, is that I don't have to really do that and when I go and I feel like it's going because I feel like I want to have a healthier body and be healthy for lots of different people including God and my family I really feel like that this this type of exercise makes me transform into a different person and I haven't once gone to, to work out and left thinking well I wish I hadn't done that right. and I hope that if you lead a generous life in a way that you do something really generous from someone else or several people, that you would also feel the same way that, you know. Really delighting. Really, yeah. No, uh, you're making sense. It's a, so to go back to the story, Paul, instead of trying to twist their arms into giving money to Jerusalem, invites them to finish what they've started, right? To be a part of this transforming experience at the gym as they're changed uh, for the people that they are to the people God needs them to be. And uh, he says, basically, if you'll finish what you've started, then you'll delight in what God is doing rather than hemming and hawing about, oh, I have to go to the gym or, oh, I have to give money to the Jerusalem church. Uh, instead, they are delighting in the fact that God is doing great ministry in Jerusalem and all around the Mediterranean and that God really can uh, change your fat body. Exactly. Yes. And so this week... Think about how your generosity, whatever that might be, think of something generous to do for someone else and maybe make that a priority in, in your life this week. And that might change you, but it might change the people that you're with too. And that's why we call it transforming generosity because it transforms us and we, by following Christ, transform others. I like it. I think that one worked. Well, we'll take this cut. You guys have a good week. Um, I had lunch with some of the state students and some other ones stood me up. Just kidding. I mean, I'm not kidding. They did stand me up, but it's not a problem. I don't hate you. It just gives me more of an opportunity to come back and eat more free food. So mm -hmm. uh, I'll be back over that way in uh, Carolina, like I said, uh, in two weeks or so, and then we're Carolina, coming to the mountains. Carolina. I, Carolina's been playing well, too. We need to get the Duke-Carolina football game's coming up. Yeah. We'll see. All right.